Hey everybody, we are here today with Tuesday 10. Hashtag Tuesday 10. I don't know who started this collaboration, but um, Cindy at Studio Lou is the one who I've seen doing it. I'm new to it. Um, I started it last week actually. And um, basically the idea is to pull 10 things from your stash and create with them until you can until you've used them all up so last week um, i started with uh 10 images from an art book that i have and i kind of got more of those images today um that i'm going to work with uh again kind of just to get me into the groove of doing this um so yeah there we have it um so I pulled out three, four, five, six, seven, eight images, and then I've got this little tag piece of folder, and then this, it looks like a vintage photo that has been ripped, but it's sturdy for a journal card if we can add some journaling space to it. Anyways, um, that's my idea. Um, so these images here, from this um, from this art book are really random and um, I just love them so um, I've had them in my stash for a while and I just decided to start using them up for Tuesday 10 um, mostly making journal cards out of them but we may come up with something else for them but again mostly they're just gonna be journal cards I'm basically cutting them down processing them as as we say adding some backing and um, merchant secret society Bora Bora Tahiti this may could work in my, I'm working on a, um, a, the journal I'm working on right now is about a little, it's a, it's a kid's storybook journal. It's a storybook journal from a kid's book. It's not going to be for a kid. Um, and it's about a little stowaway mouse, um, And it's got a sea theme, an ocean theme, and pirates, and things of that nature. So, all that to say, maybe somewhere this little image can, can go in there. Or maybe not, who knows. And again, with my all my ephemera making, two disclaimers. My... Uh, my mass ephemera making per se two disclaimers that I kind of go by are one I tend to make basic stuff um, just like the base of stuff that allows me to add to it oh my glue's going crazy over here it allows me to add to it come time to use my journal and the second disclaimer is, is I most often always stitch off camera after all is said and done. So, um, most of what you see will be unfinished, but I do plan on the last day of Junk Journal July to kind of go over everything that we've done. So, there is that. Um, this says Liv Green, this little girl on a bicycle. The back side has some, I'm going to say bankers on some money. I probably won't ever use that. So we're going to go with Liv Green. I'm 
Again, I'm mainly just doing some backing, trimming these down, processing these down, turning them into journal cards that can be used in a variety of ways when come time to use them. Um, I struggle with completing them because I don't want to have a whole stash of stuff that I can't use because of the color or because of the size or something or another. So if I do basic stuff, like bases, B-A-S-E-S, -S, bases of stuff, that allows me to add to it in the long run. wonder if we'll see what this stamp does oh that's kind of pretty okay that's a little different nice something different I don't know if you can see that but it does a little corner round with a little floof in it. So that's something different. Nice. Oh, nice mess it made too. <laughs> Get that out of the way. I just love this image. I think it's so pretty. So pretty. On the back is a lady dancing with a snake. don't know if I'll ever use this skull, but it's very nature, nature-esque. Um, let's see if we got something different to back this on. It'll work. Maybe I'll use it like this, because it says a discard, which kind of goes along with that. Think of a discarded skull. Mm, anyways. So this is a fly page from a book, obviously a discarded um, library book. Speaking of libraries, my local big library had their big um, used book sale this weekend, this past weekend. Um, it's a big library downtown Little Rock and they do a um, basement sale. Their basement is full of discarded and used books and you can pick up soft covers for a dollar, hard covers for two dollars, and I usually go, this is the last one they're doing for a while because they're doing some remodeling and renovations. And I tried to go, I meant to go, I wanted to go. <laughs> Just didn't make it down there. So I'll have to wait for another while. This is kind of a thin card, but we'll work with it. I have to wait for the next, once ever they get their, um, once ever they get their remodeling done. Hop on, hop off, hop on. That's cute. I don't know when I'll ever use this, but you know, you never know. never know when it will come in handy for a little pop of color or a tuck into a journal or whatever. My plan is to cut around the bus. I'll kiss cut it so I'll have room to sew.
say that. too close to the edge here, but that's okay. We'll work with it. That's kind of cute. Kind of cute. These are two um, book covers. Oh, that's cute little pig on the back. And it's just black on the back. Interesting. So, again, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I'm working on, I have plans to, somewhere amongst my list of all the journals I want to make, I'm working on one that's centered around books and library and all that. And, so, these will come in handy. Since this has a black back, I am going to use that to my advantage, I think. And maybe if I just cut down. Too many things going on on my desk. I'm just kind of eyeballing. And you cut. What's the deal here? Like, so we're gonna go like this. Give us a little bit of black trim around it. I think that'll work out great. page down because it's kind of thick. I'll of course stitch around it but um, I want it to at least stay there until I can get to stitching. <laughs> at least give me that please. I'm sure my glue stick would work for it, but I tend to think that my glue stick doesn't work well with thick stuff. I don't know why I think that way. That's good for eyeball straight. Yeah, and so I can stitch around this. That makes for a cool big journal card. It has to do with books. And again, we got the same kind of thing going on with To Kill a Mockingbird. And so the flip funny side of this, I guess it depends on where I'm putting the glue. I'm gonna use glue stick on this. It's the same stuff. It's a page glued to the, the thicker stuff. I don't know. 
There's a method to my madness, I'm sure. I think my friend Mary Ellen always says something about don't follow me, I'm lost too, or something like that. And, um, yeah, that's kind of how I am with this. With these videos that I do on YouTube, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. I say that. It might be kind of cool to be a professional artist. As your, J, as your day job. I think it would be a lot of stress, though, because to me, art is something that is an in-the-moment type thing. I can't create on demand, I guess is what I'm saying. Some people can. I can't. I have to be in the right groove of it. I have to be in the right headspace. And, um, yeah. I think maybe I want to do that other little... Mainly because of this, just the way the leaves are on this. Maybe I'll add a little floofy to... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just gives it a little bit more character. Nice. Okay, next is these cute little guys or this lady kicking the lizard out of the house. I actually think I'm more, I think I had this one in mind, but I think I'm more apt to use this as kind of like a nature-y type. Little leaf guys. So we're going to go with that side of it. Sorry, lady. We, the uh, the cute little leaf creatures won you over. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay, let me see where I'm at on time. I'm good. So here is my thought about this guy right here. I think I want to do some sort of shanker card. The trick is figuring out what I want in the center there. Thinking about cutting him out. And I think I think I like just these little beads. The shiny little silver beads. that's what we'll do now if any of you guys have ever watched me before you know I struggle a little bit with shaker cards so <laughs> this will be an adventure I, I can't wrap my brain around the best way to create shaker cards I think is is the big issue 
Um, yeah, I think that's the big issue. So, I have... I saved my little packages. Because that's, in my mind, that's what works well in shaker cards. <clears throat> I may be totally wrong on it. I'm thinking that way. But it's kind of my mind's eye. So we are going to use this piece of packaging. We're going to cut off the nasty tape part. And we are going to use this. So, I think first we need to cut out this. I had some little pins. Oh, yeah. That my aunt bought me. And they are, they're like exacto, oh, here they are. They're like exacto knife pins. I don't know where she got them, but. <coughs> Basically, they're pins and they have a little teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see that, blade on them. So let's start with that, see if. Hopefully my big head's not in the way. It's all about the angle on on these little blades. I have exacto knives as well if this doesn't. I think this is gonna work though. And just continue to see where I've been cutting. We have the center of this cut out. Kinda. Don't start tearing on me. That's not the plan. Okay. Ugh. Kind of trying to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so that's that. Handy did it, handy dandy little thing. And My thought process is that I need to glue this down, fill it with the little beads, I wonder if again I'm just kind of working with this because shaker cards are almost my nemesis but I like them, I like to play with them. I like to create with them, so I'm determined to figure out the best way to make them work. 
um, even if I have to go the long way around it. That seems to be the way I go on some things. One of these days I'll get a perfect little shaker card. You guys will hear all about it. I'm gonna seal this one edge. The other, these two edges are sealed. Oh, you know what I could do? Duh. I can seal with tape because it's gonna be behind. Behind that. And actually I can make sure you're stuck down over here because it'll be behind that. I think the idea is to not get too much bulk back here because you know you're gonna you want to be able to journal on it so um, okay now for our shaker bits these were in a um, some happy mail from my friend Mary Ellen I think this is one of the ones that the top is glued Oh, maybe, maybe not. Hey, um, yeah, it looks like we're glued. So, we are going to have to dig in. to cut my finger off and as much as I don't know that I want to I guess I will use all of these or most of them I think I have like a little thing of yeah I do in my shaker card stash I have a little leftovers bin so that's what we'll put them in since our top came off completely Hi. okay Let's see if we can get these in there. That's a lot of them in there, but they're little bitty. And they've got plenty of room to waller around, so I'll pour the rest of them in this my excess pile. Ooh, those are teeny tiny little beads. Set that aside. And I think I'm just going to go with taping this. So we're playing with the glue and hoping it stays. I think I'm going to put just another strip down here just just for safety's sake good deal okay um, <clears throat> so now we are gonna back this what color do we want to back this Best we go with this, don't you think? Or no, nope, that won't work. <clears throat> I guess we could tuck something behind this. I don't know what. Let's see here. How about that? Although they don't really look in love, but I think we'll do that. 
This is an old book cover. Here's a season. Alice Ross Culver. And we will trim them out. with it um, I actually think I'm gonna tape them as well but uh, they'll be sandwiched between this and the journal card so it should be okay if I don't move them I keep moving them <laughs> I want mostly her in it Scooted them again, but we're just gonna go with it and see if that works. Yep. Yeah, good deal. Okay. So now we are going to have glue on this for some reason. I guess because I have glue on my mat. I guess you guys are still in frame. I try to keep you in the center, but apparently I'm working working over here and you're in frame, so I guess we're good. Airplane's going by again today. I think I will do this since we are dealing with multi-layered paper. do some real glue instead of glue stick. around this and then we will have a journal card to stitch that is a shaker card and the static is letting the beads stick but that's okay we work with that too so on to my last little bit and it is this card I say card. It's a photo that's on some hard card. Now that I think about it, this first thing I probably need to do is back it. Although I love that. What do you say? Can we use that as journaling space? I think we'll leave it because you could journal right through there. I think we'll leave it. I want to have this little quote. You, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? And maybe we can put it on the back here. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll add this guy.
has some journaling space. You really can't tell what that is. I can tell what it is because it's a little kid with the leaves in the background. So I can tell what it is. Let's start with this. And tear it kind of nice. scrappy doos. I'm gonna take my handy dandy shoe polish and rough up my edges a little bit. Tone down that white some. on this old photo I'm gonna use the big glue not the little um, glue stick and I won't be sewing on this because this is a really hard something or another. I don't know what it is. Um, it's it's harder than cardstock. I guess it's just like a cardboard. Um, could just do that there. Also have these stickers here. Um, they are washi stickers. These were from Mary Ellen. Some Happy Mail. Looks like. Oh, okay. Looks like I would need to cut around them, which is okay. We can do that. I think I kind of like that there. I think I'll leave that little Spanish tag up and being all tag-like. Gunky scissors. So the glue went down quite a bit. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if this goes. stickers that you have to cut around. I don't have any of these in my stash, so... I'm 
never worked with these before. I wonder... It'll be very white if I do that. I don't want to cover up my journaling space. around a little bit there. Well, that's some good stick and washi. That's for sure. Maybe if we put this here. Interesting. Kind of like that. That's kind of neat stuff. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Tuesday 10. We used 10 things from our stash plus a little bit more. And here's what we've created. This journal card out of a post um, photo that's been torn. There's some writing space here and some writing space here. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Then we had this shaker card. Again, I'll sew around him. Journal card. These little leafy friends. This book cover and this book cover. Journal, Big journal cards. Little hop on, hop off bus journal card. This discard journal card. Live green, little girl bicycling. And then this map. Looks like Bora Bora and Tahiti. Pacific Ocean. So that's what we got. These will be sewn and added to my stash. And um, so yeah, there we go. Thanks for joining me. Hashtag Tuesday 10. Again, I don't know who started this, but I've seen... I've, I jumped on the bandwagon because of Cindy at Studio Lou. So I encourage you guys to check out her. She does one every Tuesday as well. I'm going to try to continue the uh, habit of doing Tuesday 10, mainly because it's a really good way to use up, ephemera, or use up my stash and build up my ephemera stash. So I'm all for that. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.